Hi, I'm Dwayne Wiggins. No, I'm Dwayne Patrice Wiggins. And this is my story from my mouth. Um, my age, I'm born in 1961, so that makes me 59. About to hit that 6-0. I was born in Oakland, California, raised in Oakland, California, and still live in Oakland, California. How would you say was your upbringing? Poor, middle class, or rich? He was richly poor, poorly rich. It was, uh, you know, we didn't have much, of course. I mean, it's everybody's story. Uh, we're coming up, especially uh, in Oakland, West Oakland. We didn't have much, but we had everything because it was a big family and we all stayed in a two bedroom, eight people, eight bodies. It was, it was crazy, but it was beautiful, as far as I remember. Did you grow up in a single parent or a co parenting home? I grew up in a co parenting home, but it was my stepfather. Basically, um, and my father, I think I moved, um, my father moved out of the house probably when I was maybe two or three, so I can't remember when he did live there. But uh, my stepfather was most of those memories uh, growing up, and he was out of the military, so real strict dude. That's what I remember about those growing up. As a kid, what did you think you would be in life? As a kid, kid, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get into music until I was like ten. Well, not into well into guitar until I was ten or eleven years old. Before then, I don't know. I was into a little everything in Oakland. Born in West Oakland, raised in Sobrani Park, and then Deep East. And so I don't know. I thought like any other kid, probably you know baseball, or, or I don't know what was I into. Back then, simple stuff. We didn't have all of this tech shit going on, so it was probably something very simple, like working on cars or something. Uh, what was your first career choice? My first career choice was uh, playing guitar. Once I, once I made that sound come out, out of it um, at the age of 12 years old, I knew I wanted to play guitar when I first started playing some Jimi Hendrix stuff that, that a gentleman taught me, and the blues and all of that. So, yeah, I knew the entertainment industry was what I wanted to get into, but there was a number of things that I, was, I grew up you know, having passion behind, besides just music. How far did you get in your education? I uh, graduated high school, did like one, just about one semester of college, junior college, married junior college, and then I ended up getting the job. And um, yeah, that took me out of that. Even when I was in college, I was just, I think my, my major was computer science and my minor, minor was music. I would have been messing with the Steve Jobs partners if I would have stayed, on, you know, and I was like 80, 81, I would have been giving it to him, boy. But I ended up getting a job at Bank of America, and that took me away from that. At what age do you think you became an adult? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't made it. <laughs> what age did I become an adult? I don't know. I'd have to say when I was about 31. I, that's what on, on some realness. About 31, and when I had my first my, my first child, my daughter, and then just responsibilities and just things, certain things hitting hitting you. But you know, um, yeah, I was one of those kids that I was staying at home. You know, what I mean, I was loving. You know, staying at home with your mom and such 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 and. Even when I did, uh, we got successful with music, and I made money. I bought a house. I moved my mom in with me. So that's just what it was. Um, but yeah, I think I would have to say about 31 is when I grew up, or began uh, growing up. At what age did you make the career choice that people know you for? I made that career choice at the age of about 13 or 14. I used to play in a lot of nightclubs. So I, I made the career choice for my life at a very young age because, um, you know, it distracted me for, from a lot of things in the streets. You know, that guitar was like a, a shield, like a weapon for me. And, um, yeah, I made, I, you know, I made that choice up a long time ago. Of course, everybody said, oh, I'm going to make it big, I'm going to make it big. You never know. Even when we probably did get our first hit, I still didn't realize it because, I was so gassed and, and just, you know, just hitting the clubs and all of the, you know, back then in the 70s, it was a lot of, um, 
you know, the pimping and the whole bit going on. And I used to play for a lot of the motorcycle gangs as a kid, you know, uh, the, um, damn, the East Bay Dragons and playing for, oh, my, I mean, so I don't know. I just figured, you know, this is what I want to do. I didn't know at what level. I didn't even have no idea that I'd have a family group either. What was your early struggles as an artist and how did you overcome them? Oh, man. <clears throat> my biggest struggles, my earliest struggle, struggles uh, as becoming an artist, being on time and being focused, first of all, like, you know, yeah, being focused. Uh, that was the, um, the one, the biggest thing about and being organized, you know, that's the kind of thing that's um, it's a lot of uh, artists, you know, we like that part of it. You know what I mean? But that was one of the biggest things. And I'm, I'm still, I still, you know, become perfect with it. But I do pretty well right now. You know, I know I advance, set up things, and close the deal. Did you have anyone close to you that didn't support you? Anyone close to me that didn't support me? Hell yeah. Hell <laughs> people from the town. But even the ones that, you know, the ones that, that tough love was, that's support to me. I'm, I'm, I, we grew up in another era, you know, that bullying stuff people talk about today does not fit what we understand as being bullying. So when people giving you words about saying something that you can't do and you know where we come from, it's like, watch. And that's how we feel. And that's, um, that was just an era of, of when people were very independent entrepreneurs and just believed in themselves. Who would you say was your biggest supporter? My mom, my mom was my biggest supporter. Um, my dad was my biggest supporter as well uh, because he just gave it to me straight. You got to take it to him. Son. You, can't, you can't just play guitar. You got to get up there and you know, entertain, all that type of stuff. My father was a blues singer and he played guitar. But yeah, he was like, you got to entertain. So um, those were my biggest supporters. But the town, Oakland, Oakland in itself, man, you know, Growing up in a community like this is, is powerful, you know. Growing up watching the Black Panthers and giving rallies in, in the Fermi Park, living across the street from there, watching Sly Stone and Graham Central Station rehearse and all of that. That's, yeah, that's incredible. What would you say is the highlight of your journey? The highlight of my journey is Still being here, still fucking being here. That's the hot life, real talk. Let me just talk about it. Because, you know, I lost a lot of, we lost a lot of soldiers in our family. You know, two brothers, my older, at the age of 24. And then I was 13 when that happened. Then my younger brother, who when we first did our album, he was 24. So he, a lot of stuff spooked me. Like, I never thought I'd see 30. Real talk, that's why I'm saying I know a 31 is when I started growing. Because, you know, you got past that. But um, uh, uh, what was the question again? I'm sorry, man. What was the highlight yeah. of your journey? The highlight, okay. The highlight would have to be the fact that when I see a younger generation inspired by music that we just spontaneously came up with and just had the opportunity to learn and grow with, that's been my highlight. You know, when I, when I hear people c cover our music and the whole bit and there's songs and stuff and there's chords popping off that we understand and instruments and I'm hearing that sound, the 12 on the drum machine or whatever, that has been the highlight to know that we serve the community and we serve the, we serve this uh this craft proper. You know what I mean? Le leaving up out here, leaving something that another kid could pick up on it and take it and pass it and take it to the next generation, and take it to the next level. Actually, yeah. that's the highlight to me. What would, what would you say would be the highlight of your group, Tony Tony Tony? Wow, the highlight of Tony 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 was. I have so many highlights. Hi, I'm Dwayne Wiggins. No, I'm Dwayne Patrice Wiggins, and this is my story from my mouth.